and we're back for another alpine adventure with yours truly dave so that's mount sherman behind us beautiful day out here on the mosquito range as you'll recall i climbed up to the mine last time i'm well above that already because i didn't have to walk three miles and snowshoe up the road that's the road down there that i hiked up last time got up early this morning I was camping we got up at four came and watched the sunrise Normally this trail goes up that corner and across, but there's cornices. So, as you can see, they're breaking off. If you can, so, that's not safe. So what we're going to do is carry on this path, because as I say, the only way up there is just straight up the mountain. So, it's uh, one of the easier 14ers. It make breathing at 14,000 feet any easier, but uh, it's a nice camping weekend and stay up here in the Alpine and enjoy the mountains the view from there is going to be great because we'll be able to see across to the other range where massive and ebert and the uh, collegiate mountains are i hope so we'll see beautiful haven't had to take a break yet wanted to make a point about where i am now remember back when i couldn't make it up because my back hurt and it's a hell of a walk. If I'd have made it one foot more today, it's worth it. Because that means I'm a step further than where I was yesterday towards doing the cool things I want to do. I climbed that thing. So, keep that in mind. Because every time you take a step past where you were, eventually you're pretty far from where you were. Lessons learned, challenges overcome. That's your inspirational message for the day. So, I'm about to do something either incredibly smart or incredibly stupid. Everybody's taking this route and trying to go up that snow. The report said just climb the goddamn thing. There's a bit of a drift trail in there. I don't know if it's a trail or like falling rock. But I think I can make it. And that it would be more challenging, which is more fun, right? Because it's only going to last for so long. So, otherwise i got to go walk up the snow. My video was from down there when I decided to come up. This is what the trail looks like. It's a bunch of loose screed. <laughs> and that's going to go up for a ways. But it should be fun. It's no worse than hiking Quandary in the snow. Because Quandary is almost vertical at points, so... Should be able to knock this one out. The sun is with us, so I'd like to introduce one of my sponsors. 100% Copper Tone, because I don't like burning my nose. Well, we made it the first leg. It actually goes down quite a ways. It only took about nine minutes. Take a little rest. I'll keep going up to that top part. Not too much more. Really killing the ankles. For our second sponsor of the day. Hydration Multiplier, powered by CTT. Make sure you get all your electrolytes, salts and sugars when you're climbing up this fucking rock pile. Almost to the summit. Well, I made it. Hopefully you can hear me. It's kind of windy up here. I had to put my stuff back on. Before we made it to Out there, we got a lot of big peaks. Let's see if we can zoom in on them. So, it goes from, I don't know if, which one, if it is like Ebert, the Collegiate Peaks, and I think out there is Mount Massive that has uh, three peaks, I think four peaks or something. I think that's Mount Massive. It's, big, it's got the most square footage above 14,000 feet in the U.S. So, um, 